Welcome back to the review. And today I want to take a look at the ergonomic mouse by Quadra Clicks. And this is going to be probably a very short unboxing since it's just going to be opening this box and then it's going to cut and fast forward to me weeks and months later trying the mouse to see how it goes because usually when I have a mouse I really tense up when I try to move little tiny little movement little pixel things and it just I just tense up a lot versus a pen uh, or any other ergonomic I have a marble mouse as well but with that a much more it just never hurts and with a mouse after a while no matter what I do it just here it just starts to really hurt and I haven't used the mouse in in years. I mean, I have a mouse right there just in case a driver fails or I can't use my tablet. So it's there as a backup, but I don't work with a mouse. It's been 10, 50, oh, it's been forever. I can't remember last time I used the mouse for a long period of time. So I was very intrigued by this product. So let's open this up. This is the box in all its glory. Do a quick cut here and then let's open the box slowly. There you go. <laughs> that is the extent of the unboxing. You have a cable. Let's see. Okay, there's more stuff in here. Let me just take all of this out. Protective foam here. So this comes like that. That's your mouse with the cable and that is that. And you can see how this is raised. It's less clicking at the front, it's more clicking with the back side of your fingers. Then in here you have this. It, uh, it's revolutionary, it says, tell the world, talk to us. You got the manual, you got your left button back here. I mean, you can click here, but it's mostly all through the back side. Right button, you got your roller. You have a DPI regulation, this is in here. There's a forward on the side here. Then you have backward. There's the LED switch back here. And the whole thing is a USB cable connection procedure. I want to take this off. That's the biggest thing to me is cable length. And this is <laughs> it's fairly long. The reason why I'm interested in the length of the cable is because I have a standing desk. So we shall see how this will perform also as a standing desk. That's a bit, that's not the main priority, but I want to see how that works. But that's it. I mean, this is fairly straightforward. So fast forward cuts to me having used this for quite some time. Now, before I continue and going to the menu, the overview, my final impressions and so on, just as a quick disclaimer, I was given this mouse for review purposes. I didn't pay for it, but also wasn't told what to say. So they were fairly relaxed. Just here, try it, here's what you think, and then, you know, go from there. So they were very nice, very friendly, very quick uh, back and forth in terms of emails. So there's no script. This is just my honest impressions. Very subjective, of course, because also I'm a lefty, more about that later. And in terms of how it works for my setup. So let's check out the details and my general impressions. So you have your mouse here. This is at a six currently and as you go through you can see in the images how you're supposed to hold it what people think about this the whole setup this is the mouse in all of its glory as you saw in the unboxing like I said current price is at a discount and as you go down here you have the guarantee of it the onboarding instructions which are here which are also on a different page you can see that here little slight tutorial and if you go back to here you have the right above touch software, which is this one, which we'll get to that later. Shipping policy and asking questions. You also have here uh, people going through it and kind of telling you why they like it and testimonials. And here is the rest of the page. And it claims it's the most effective carpal tunnel mouse solution since 2016. If you click on here, you got the two different versions. These are just slightly different in terms of warranty. And that's it for overview in terms of the site. So let's go through the features one by one. All right, this is the main menu here with all the button options that you have. It's super detailed and you have profiles on the left and reset on the right. I'm actually on my profile. Let's switch to standard. The main thing is that it's slightly slow in some of these updates. Um, this might just be me. Just be mindful that could happen. It's not because if the mouse is weird, the mouse works really well. But for me, the menu was a bit slow every now and then switching between things, especially changing the mouse speed was a bit wonky for me. But of course that can be updated. These are the buttons here. So if you push here, you have all kinds of things, your basic commands that continue. You have multimedia commands here, additional commands, and then DPI settings as well. And you have macro manager that you can set up here. Super detailed, I love it. And then sensitivity here. And these are your main buttons. So clicky buttons, of course, classic stuff. The scroll mouse, the DPI, this is on button six here, is pretty neat. And again, you can change this here. It will cycle through the 500, 
whatever you have, you can again, you can reset, yes. And you can see how this goes up. So you can completely change this. And whenever you have one of them selected, it will also go to that color. So if I click on DPI here, you will see how it changes color. And I usually have it, I don't know, for me, it's kind of a on the, uh, the higher side, but uh, whatever you want to use is absolutely for you. Well, let's go through the colors here. So if you go to static, as it says here, you can see whatever color you have selected here and you can go in terms of intensity. So I can go all the way down and you can see it disappears. You can go to 50 and it's around that. And the color is going to change again, depending on what DPI setting you have. You can also have it not static and kind of breathe through the whole thing. So this is at 85 and you can see I'm going to let it play and it's fairly slow. You can see this, how it goes in and out of the colors. Then you can go all the way down to 45. And then you can see how it just ever so slightly faster. It's not a huge thing, but you can still see it. And you can go maybe 65, 55 or 65. And again, we'll have a little bit of a change. Neon is going to cycle through all the colors. So again, I'm going to leave the camera on that. You can see it's staying on the red and it's going to slowly, slowly change into another color. I'm saying this and it's taking forever, <laughs> but that's why you have settings. So you can go down to 35, it's back to red and you can see it's going a lot faster going through all the colors. So you really customize this. Then you have your report rate. So you can switch here from standard to all the way. I mean, I clicked on the all the way up here, but it goes left to right. I was actually clockwise uh, looking at this, but this is an option here. The speed you can see here. See, for now it's okay. Now I clicked and it's it takes forever to load. So be mindful of that. You have a double click speed, of course, that's cool. And then the scroll speed with the wheel, which I can go through here, that is that option through there. So it's super, super detailed in terms of how you can customize every single button. The macro manager is great. And you can see here side view for all the side buttons, which I'll get to later, which are a bit of a sticky point for me. And then again, the top view. So as you saw, it's super detailed in terms of how you can customize the mouse and having used the mouse, I have to say, in terms of what I think about it, it's super comfortable. Am I going to use it? No, but that doesn't mean that it's bad. And the main reason is because of this. That being said, having used this mouse now and, and replaced the other mouse, there's a huge difference. I definitely don't, there's, just, there's a slight different way of how you're supposed to click it. So if you look at kind of the, the standard gripping position of your, of your fingers, you got the front clicking. With this one, it's more on the back side of your fingers. Again, the onboarding tutorial kind of explains to you how you're supposed to rest your hand. At first, it was a bit odd because I do a lot of kind of curling with the finger to move the mouse up and down and there if you rest it like this and you don't want to curl your fingers like this so you reduce actually the pain and the strain and you start moving your hands or your overall arm a bit more which at first I wasn't a big fan of I don't want to use more of my arm and then potentially have some discomfort here but with all of the settings you have in the menu you can really customize this where you just have to have minimal movement to move around like around my four screens i actually have it fairly dialed in and it's actually really cool i don't really use the full arm it's just slight movements and the clicking is much more comfortable i have to say i started animating a bouncing ball with it and it's it's also tricky because i'm so used to a pen and a tablet to then go through the whole process and kind of switch over to a mouse was a bit odd but it's also a good example because i had to kind of re-go i can relearn it in a way and I was probably too tense and there I say I didn't really have any any finger pain every now and then I went back to clicking with the front part and then it doesn't really click so well because you have to click with this side so it's, there's definitely a bit of a uh, an adjustment period but in terms of using it on a daily basis going through menus and work and some animating I noticed a difference it's definitely better and if you are always using a mouse I would personally recommend to try this for sure I think it's it's definitely better than a regular mouse uh, you notice it right away in 
terms of how you click it. In terms of long term, I'm just so comfortable with this and in my overall workflow with the tablet, how I use the pen to click on my stream deck. And it's just, there's a certain workflow that I have now and it's just, I'm just so much more comfortable and I never have any pain. And it's just, I'm faster with it and just still more comfortable. So I would recommend you try it. I think it's it's definitely worth to try and I've definitely noticed the difference. Ultimately, I'm also not choosing it just because it's for right-handed people and I'm a lefty. So the mouse buttons, the two, I can't, I mean, you can reach them, but then I start switching my hand position where I curl the fingers again, negating kind of the, the ergonomic positive aspects of the mouse. That being said, it will replace the current mouse. So I'm going to use it and definitely not go back to regular mouse. I think that for sure. So it's a recommended with caveats. I think that's where I would leave it. I did ask about a left-handed mouse that said, yes, that is planned, but not in the near future. So whenever that comes out, I will definitely get it and switch it. But for now, I'm just gonna leave it at that as you know, my, my mouse in case the tablet doesn't work, something reboots, the drivers are off, and I gotta use the mouse. I hope that was a good enough overview. I hope it might be helpful to you. I'm curious if you are going to use it or if you already have used it, what your thoughts are, you know, it's common. I'm curious what, what you think. And that's kind of that for the review overview. Uh, like and subscribe at the end the usual pitch um, or not, uh, depending, it's totally up to you. But I'm leaving it at that. Thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you or you'll see me in one of my next clips.